Can you guys hear that? They've been jackhammering for days. A couple of times I've wanted to come out here and record and uh, it's been windy, it's been too gray, too cold, too whatever, lots of things going on, right? Then, a couple of days ago, they decided they were going to start jackhammering every morning right behind my house on the street at like 7 a.m. in the morning. At first, I was like, I'm making excuses. I just don't want to be outside in the cold. I was like, oh, I don't want you guys to hear the rustling of the trees. You might be able to hear that right now. It's just slightly windy. I don't want you guys to hear the, you know, leaves blowing down the street and, you know, whatever. But I was really just making excuses. Then they decided they want to build a huge apartment building right across the street from me and start digging up the ground, jackhammering every day and all that kind of stuff. So unfortunately, you guys are just going to have to deal with the noise. Sorry. If you're new here, consider leaving a hi in the comments subscribing and liking the video if you would be so kind. And if you don't know the backstory about this channel, you might want to start at video one and understand kind of what this journey has been about. It's really just about learning how to weld. And today I wanted to talk more about this. The angle grinder by far is probably the most intimidating piece of equipment that I have in my garage. Learning how to cut metal obviously is essential to welding. So I had to get these discs, put them on that machine, learn how to cut and obviously not hurt myself. And even though I've gotten a little bit more comfortable with cutting with these discs, you kind of never know like how quickly you need to replace them. If you know, like if you can start seeing the threads and those kinds of, not, not threads, but the, the, the lacing, I guess, that holds these things together. You just don't know every time I turn it on and touch to metal, it's kind of like, well, hopefully these things don't break apart and obviously cause some real damage. Someone made a comment on my last angle grinding video that after they watched it, they were like even more scared of like the angle grinder themselves. And, and to be very honest with you, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really versatile tool, which is why I'm doing a follow-up video to this, you know, after a little while, I have gotten a little bit more comfortable with it. But um, yeah, it's a, it, the disc itself can be a little bit squirrely. So you definitely have to hold on to the angle grinder to make sure it doesn't jump out of your hand or anything like that. So quick little story. Ever since I was little, I guess, I always thought that like steel, uh, you know, these type of metals that they used to build buildings with and huge skyscrapers and all that kind of stuff was like absurdly strong. You know, fast forward obviously to now and all the things that, you know, you kind of seen in life and dealt with and whatever, you realize that mild steel itself uh, isn't as hard of a substance as you, you know, you would imagine that it is. It actually melts faster than some of the harder metals. So while learning about the characteristics of the metal while using these grinding discs and stuff, I happened across this right here, which looks pretty scary itself in that sense. And, and there are scarier looking ones, but not designed to specifically cut metal. And this is designed to specifically cut metal. We're gonna tear this open today and cut some metal with it real quickly to give you an idea of how this type of metal, like, like think, of, think of this as like a smaller version of like a big, you know, like circular saw that you would cut like uh, lumber with, um, except that this has like a, this carbide edge right here that obviously helps it last longer and maybe cut metal faster. So let's pit it against the grinding disc. And when I say pit it against the grinding disc, I don't mean some like scientific breakdown and comparison test competition. We're just gonna cut metal. Here we have your typical eighth inch mild steel flat bar plate, I guess. Here's this bad boy mounted on the grinder. Here's the other side of it, made by Diablo. Just looking at this disc inside this tool, it, yeah, um, definitely looks intimidating. Focus, there we go. All right, the very first cut from the diamond metal cutoff disc. Um, it's kind of ugly, actually. It's a lot of, uh, I think they call this, I mean, with plasma cutting, they call this dross, I think, or something like that. But uh, yeah, it, it was ugly. I think I was maybe holding it at an ugly angle. I, I couldn't really see it that well over the, I couldn't really see it that well over the grinding disc. So let's try this again.
focus. There he goes. Okay, so the second cut, it kind of does the same thing. It like really melts the metal because it gets pretty warm. And I thought it did. I would. I thought this type of disc would do more of a cutting action. It did not. So uh, yeah, you see that? And then and it's pretty. That stuff is a. Uh, on there like it's you know it's kind of like melted off and, and this time I got a better a little bit better of, of a view get a little bit better of an angle so I can see uh, you know what I was cutting a little bit better so I held the disc a little bit straighter but uh, this looks like it's still kind of like melting and grinding through or, as opposed to cutting through all right got the actual grinding disc back on the angle grinder full disclaimer you guys make sure you do what you have to do at home to make sure you are safe and don't hurt yourselves Okay, this is the cut from the grinding disc. Like I said, full disclaimer, you guys make sure you do what you have to do at home to be safe. Um, I've made quite a few cuts on that, which is it's probably due for replacement, so I will replace that like ASAP. I mean, they're, they're disposable, what do they call that? They're consumable, so you know, you're gonna go through a bunch of them making a lot of cuts anyway because they wear down themselves. But as you can see, this is stupid cleaner than the Diablo disc. Like what in the world? Hold on, hold on, let's see if I can get this to, like you see all that on the back of there? Look at that. I mean, the point is we're talking about the cut itself. Obviously I can take another, you know, like a grinding disc to this and like clean it up and smooth it out and flatten it and make it, you know, like what I need it to, but that's not the point. The point is, how does the disc perform? And in one cut, I can tell you, it does not perform as well as just a regular simple grinding disc. So nuts. I mean, just look by comparison what the, what the diamond cutoff disc wheel cut looks like and what the regular grinding disc wheel looks like. It's a world of difference. And with that, I think this test or comparison is done. All right, well, just for fun, let's take a file to the end of this and see if it can file off some of that melted dross or whatever they call that. <laughs> That's on there pretty good. Yeah, focus buddy. I wouldn't do this by hand obviously, but just for the purposes of the video, just so you can see, yeah, this comparison, easily the regular grinding disc I prefer to the Diablo. and I, and man, and I've bought a lot of Diablo stuff and I actually like Diablo, but this was fail. All right guys, thanks for joining me today and all the noise in the background with the construction they're doing across the street, but that was just a quick comparison to see the grinding disc, hopefully that focuses for you, and the diamond cutoff wheel. I mean, whoa, wow, look at that. Say what? Okay guys, just a quick short video today about the grinding discs. I know this is supposed to be about welding and stuff like that, but you can't weld without cutting metal and grinding and stuff like that, right? So I thought maybe you guys might be interested in that. You guys make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. It helps the channel, it helps me make these videos, and it helps more people see them. So thank you guys in advance, and I'll see y'all soon.